The best magic is performed with everyday objects. With Andrew Gerard's accuracy, you'll have your back turned, a spectator will spin a coin, they'll take two bills, hide one in their hand and sit on the other. When you turn around, you'll know everything. You're sitting on the one, the 20 is in your hand and the coin is heads. Is that right? Let's see. Yeah. So we can't even see two. <laughs> Open it up. Is that right? Yes. There's a 20. You're sitting on a one. And I don't want to touch the coaster. It's a heads, right? It's awesome. I'll take my money and you have to do a shot. <laughs> this is accuracy. You gonna watch this? Yeah. I'm gonna show you the card. All you have to do is remember it. Okay. Can you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you got your phone? Bring your phone out, so we're gonna take your picture. Yeah, you got it? Cool. And you saw the card as well. So this is the idea. You're gonna remember the card. It goes back into the deck and hold the deck like that. Good, don't drop it. I'm gonna give you like a little memory test. See? That little test that I just gave you should affect your memory. Take the deck and I want you to go through and I want you to find the card that you saw. Find the card that you saw, just spread through them. Can you do that? Yeah. You see it? No. You don't see it? No, I don't see it. Go right to the end. Maybe it's at the end. Ava's trying to help. <laughs> Ava. Is it not there? Dude, what was the card that you thought of? That I thought Yeah, of? that you thought you saw. Eight of hearts. What was the card that you saw? Eight of diamonds. Or eight of hearts. See, he's not even no, sure of the suit. Man, the what? In the right. <laughs> eight, what do you think it was? You thought it was? I saw it. That was a pick, bro. What was it? Look. God damn. See? <laughs> right? What card? I thought you had a good memory. I thought I did too. You know what's really weird though, is you actually were thinking of the eight and you couldn't have seen the eight in the deck. Do you know why? Why? Look, in my back pocket before I came out down here, I put a card and it was the card that you were going to think of before you even thought of it. What the f***? Is it? It's, yeah. it's there. It's yeah. not in the deck. It's in my phone. <laughs> no, it's in my phone. Like, I mean it. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I love magic. <laughs> you said eight of hearts. Yeah. Whoa. Frustrated? <laughs> yeah, there's something wrong with yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. I'm off the jizz. SCFU is not just one effect or one trick or one method. Uh, it is a tool. But it's because it's a tool that will allow you to create many effects. And what we decided to do was to have a brainstorm on this episode and also shoot some of the, our favorite effects that we came up with in the brainstorm. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. No. Oh my God. What? I saw the card in the deck. So you literally transferred it. I don't know what happened. He, he somehow like teleported it into my shirt. There's no way I, I would have known if his hand was down my shirt. I mean, there's no way. Mind blowing. Andrew Gerard's formula. This is a very special effect where the spectator generates a card and a number. That number is dealt to in a pack of cards to reveal that their card is at that number. But then Andrew reveals that the rest of the deck was actually blank. On top of that, the card that they were thinking of was actually blank too, which means the whole experience just happened in their mind. This is the formula. This is the last one? Mm -hmm. All right. Interesting. You thought of a card. You thought of a number. Mm -hmm. Four diamonds. Yes. Is that it? Yeah, that's I'd it. I have to take your word for it. Yeah, right? it is. It was. What the heck? Yeah. Now this is what's really strange. Is that that was a free choice. Yeah. Right, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. You know why? Why? Because these cards 
don't exist. <laughs> what? what the f These cars don't exist. These are what? all blank. But here's the really weird thing. Look at the four diamonds isn't even here. It just oh. all happened in your mind. What the heck? That's gnarly. It is. It's crazy. Hey guys, if you're anything like me, you've probably spent a long time searching for the ultimate think of a card routine, right? Where somebody just thinks of a card and you somehow know what it is. Uh, I love this effect. Rand showed me White Room years ago before he released it. And initially, I gotta admit, I was really attracted by the method because it is a kind of a, a really interesting kind of process of how they think of the card and how you reveal it. But at the end of the day, I've really fell in love with the premise and presentation over the years uh, so much. I mean, the people have their eyes closed for more than half of the trick. And everyone watching knows that they're experiencing something special. And that's what I love about this trick. It creates an interesting spectacle. And uh, people go inside their head and they use their imagination to make some creative decisions. And we just don't get to do that every day. So this is more than just a think a card uh, trick for me now. Uh, it's about giving something really special to the spectator, a great experience. And uh, without further ado, let's go check out the white room. I don't know why I'm getting a heart, three of hearts. Is that, oh my god. That was easy. Bro. I'm seeing a red wall with a heart and a five. Five of hearts. Is that the card you're thinking of? Pretty good. It's good? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Good job, bro. Have a good day, guys. Yeah, you too. Have a good day. Three of diamonds. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Three of diamonds. Mind reader, the real deal mind reader. Who would have it on Hollywood Boulevard? Only in Hollywood. Only in Hollywood. Yeah.